Hello and welcome to another vlog of Pregnant and Poppin'. My name is Bianca Ingram and um, since I've announced my pregnancy to the world and to all of you viewers, I've gotten a lot of questions about what my pregnancy has been like. Like, have I been sick? Have I been tired? How am I feeling now? And instead of like repeating the same answer over and over, um, I wasn't ignoring you guys, but I knew that this video was gonna come out and so I'll just send you all this link so you can see. Whew. First of all, let me just say, I almost didn't make it making this vlog today because I am not having the best pregnant day today. I am very, very tired and sluggish right now. Very crampy, round ligament pain is a thing. I'm gonna talk about that. But ooh, child, I almost didn't do this, but I'm here and my hoodie and with this weird piece of hair that's, I don't know what this is. So first trimester. So in my first trimester, I did not even know that I was pregnant. Like I stopped taking my birth control and I thought that that is what I was experiencing. I thought I was just having side effects from getting off birth control for 10 years. And so I was very tired, very hungry. Normally when I'm putting on a show, I know that I'm gonna perform, I know I'm gonna slay. I'm all organized and like really anxious and I just didn't really, not that I didn't care, because I cared, but I was just so tired that like, I kind of didn't care. Like I was like, I'm not even gonna perform, I'm gonna just let them perform and whatever happens, happens. And that's just not my personality. Like, so my mom had her eyes on me. She said, something's going on. And my mom was like, Bianca, you need to take a test. And I was like, I don't. I don't need to take a test because I'm just a little bigger. I've been eating a lot. <laughs> when I took that test, it said pregnant so fast. <laughs> So that's how I found out that I was pregnant. I didn't have any morning sickness, I didn't have any nausea, or um, constipation, or... I mean, I did have um, sore breasts a couple times, but that's also when I was Googling um, getting off birth control, it said that that's one of the side effects. So I assume that it was just related to that, like the, the hormones balancing out. Little did I know <laughs> that there was a person growing down here. You know, after I got over the shock of it and I was like, okay, woo, what now? Like, what do I do? Because as you know, like, I'm a singer, I perform, I have shows lined up, I've got things to do. How does this fit in? For a moment there, I felt like, Am I gonna lose myself in this process of growing a person? Will the entertainment industry still accept me and invest in me and support my visions for things? So I had a lot of, of feelings and it was never like, oh, I don't want this baby because I definitely, like I love Paul, I love my baby, but I just like mentally was not prepared. I'm still not sure if I'm mentally <laughs> <laughs> but we're getting there it's a process um so second trimester um finally my energy came back like it was like I woke up one day and I could function <laughs> because in the first trimester I would wake up and I would just be like I need a nap as soon as I woke up I might eat something then and take a nap but now I can get things done bing bang boom so to my moms out there who are in their second trimester I feel like now is the time to to really apply yourself and push yourself if you're tired in the first trimester sleep you know like even even to my dream chasers like myself you got to take care of yourself first you got to take care of your baby and the body needs to sleep so it can grow a person properly so I mean, if your body is saying you need to rest, I feel like 100% listen to your body. But when that second trimester hits and you have some energy, now is the time to play catch up. Now is the time to you know organize your life and figure out how you can attack and get things done. That's what I'm doing. I bought a planner, and on the cover of it, it says hustle because that's what this this sector of three months is going to be for me. Like. 
um, back in dance class, I have been trying to work out, although when I, when I work out, I notice that it flares up uh, around ligament pain, which is like a lower abdominal cramping thing that happens. And sometimes I have to like stop Ooh, and catch my breath because I'm tired. I've been getting out of breath. I used to be talking in a conversation like right now and I'd be getting out of breath. But pregnancy things. Also, I have been organizing what my goals for the month are going to be. Like what, what is it that I want to attain in each month so that way by the time I'm in my last trimester and I'm big and uncomfortable and ah, oh, my back. I still feel like I have been productive and when that baby drops, we can get right back to it. Because really that's what it's about. Beyonce said it best in Who Runs the World. She said, I'm really bad at um, pulling lyrics. I just like know the lyrics in my heart but my brain don't know it. Hold on. She said, Something about dropping the baby, getting back to business. Listen, pregnancy brain. That's my plan, is to get right back to business and to show my child that anything is possible, anything can be done with proper planning and execution. So to you moms out there who are also trying to be pregnant and popping and, and not letting your pregnancy get in the way of, of your passions in life, it's just about believing in yourself first. Once you believe in yourself first, other people will believe in you and everything will be fine. It's not about trying to convince people to see your vision. It's just about believing in yourself so much that you attract the people who will see your vision. Like you, you'll attract those people and the people who don't get it, they'll fall to the wayside and they don't matter anyway. So don't feel like you ha you're gonna lose yourself to mommyhood because that's something even now I struggle with it from time to time like when I'm in dance class and I see my my belly I don't feel as like my lines are not as good or I don't feel as necessarily sexy but I understand that this is a temporary time to be pregnant and I'm learning to embrace this Because really nine months out of your whole life, and I'm sure I'm going to be pregnant again because I want a big family, I've always wanted a big family, but nine months is really not that long. And then once that baby's out, they're out. So it, it's about enjoying this journey, taking it day by day, and still doing the things that are you, still doing the things that you love to do. And when you have the energy to do them, you get up and you do them. My energy is pretty good today, so I'm getting ready to go to Divas and Heels, one of my favorite places to go. And I actually remember, um, I think it was, not, was it this past summer or the summer of last year? I'm not really sure. But I was a speaker at a Women Empowerment Brunch, and I was talking about how Divas and Heels came into my life and what it means to me and how it changed my life. And then I was talking about the founders, Sam and Shelly, the creators, Divas and Heels and owners of Studio Diva, New Jersey. And um, I was saying how they are wives and mothers and I didn't know that and how inspirational that was for me. Check out this clip. 
I really wasn't doing anything for myself. If it wasn't business that I had to show up for, like interviews, photo shoots, shows or something, I was at home being sad. I got so comfortable in my insecurities and salt, <coughs> I forgot how to love myself. But for whatever reason, this particular night, I decided to go to the Liz and Heels of Geo, and I'm so glad I did because for me, I feel like that was one of the most pivotal steps I took to find my way back to myself. Divas and Heels is a dance class for women to feel sexy and confident. And we laugh and we have fun. There's people in there from like 18 to 70 be up in there dancing and our heels falling all over the place. And after that, I was like, I'm going to go to their class every time they got me. So then I became a regular. <laughs> and now I'm a brand ambassador because that's how much I believe in them and what they do for the community. They never heard that story before because it's their first time. <laughs> I want to thank you, John Tay, and the IMG Women Empowerment Conference for giving me this platform to speak to you guys and talk a little bit about moving in confidence. Now, the glory will on. My friends say <laughs> each other. So another thing that I never told you guys, right? So in my career, it's not exactly like the thing to do to like get married and have kids and I always kind of felt like I was going to have to choose, like I was going to have to sacrifice, I can't do both. And I don't have kids yet but like I'm thinking about it. <laughs> but like I, I was kind of like, can I be a singer and start a family or do I have to give that up? Because they're both dreams of mine. I didn't know we had families when I first started coming to the class. <laughs> So like, I look at Beyonce, and Sierra, and Serena Williams, and Sam and Shelly, and I'm like, oh, yes, y'all are in that category for me. Like, all these women have families that they have not missed a beat in being themselves. They didn't lose their identity in motherhood. They, it was just another added thing into their life. And so I want to thank you guys for being such great role models for me and showing me that I can do it all. I can have it all. So I know you guys are going to tell like how you started and everything, because their story is great. So let's make it some noise for the founders of Divas and Heels, Sam and Shelly. We're, like Bianca said, we're moms, we're married, we're kind of just, we're living in that family life. And we've been dancing, like when we were younger, we would dance and we would go to audition, we would go to New York, we would train, and we would really go hard at trying to achieve our dreams of you know, dancing for Beyonce or whoever. Uh, but we weren't doing that. So <laughs> we were home, we were being moms, and we're like, we need, like, we feel like we want to get back to who we are. So a girl from high school used to be on Facebook and she would say, Sam and Shelly, you guys should start a dance class locally. I'm like, okay, all right, we can do this. So we started one in Philly, actually, even though we're from Jersey. We're going out to Philly every week, faithfully. We thought that was the place to be. Uh, no one would come. Oh, um, we would like, text our cousins, like, can you guys please come to class? So it would be us and our cousins, and maybe like one person will come in, and there we were every week driving to Philly and still having our class, because, you know, that's what we wanted to do. But um, so eventually, we kind of, it kind of phased out, and we stopped. So, um, and it's 2017, uh, someone else we know said, you guys should bring your class to my gym, and go to the gym. I'm like, okay, we'll try it again. We'll try it again. Um, and it started off slow. And then it started to pick up, and then we started, you know, seeing um, traction on social media, and people sharing and liking and commenting. Where is this? I want to do this. I want to do this. So, and it's really grown into something that we didn't envision. Like we kind of were just like we're doing this for fun, but now it's like it's awesome to have so many women. And we have some of our girls here who came to support us and do something special for you ladies. Um, to just feel confident and, and come and have a safe space. Um, to enjoy themselves and other women. Um, I'm going to let Shelly say some I thought she did she took up the whole time. She told, <laughs> told the whole story about love nothing for me, but um, I think what's really important is that we did all of this, we built this class, just being us. We didn't like plan it, we didn't say, oh, we wanted to be. We just were us, we taught dance because we love it. And when I look at the community that we built today, it's, it's crazy and it's so growing. So, um, yeah. Also, if anyone's interested, we do have a 
have cards. We have our schedule over here. And we want you to know that this, this what we created is a safe space for all women to come, let your hair down, do something for yourself. I know we spoke a lot about pouring into yourself. I preach that. I'm also a yoga instructor, but I preach that constantly. Pouring into yourself in your own cup so that way you can pour it into everyone else. Um, so if you have some time, you want to come, do a little something for yourself, feel uh -huh. sexy, come see us over at Eat that's why I say it is so important to still do the things that make you feel good, that empower you, that you love to do. So tonight, I dance. <laughs> And if someone invites me somewhere, you know, I hope they understand, I might not come. I might not show up. I might feel like, you know, I know I need to nap or sleep early now because tomorrow I want to get this, 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 this done. Sorry, I get very passionate. To my moms, I can't really speak on, you know, later in the second trimester because I just got into my second trimester and... These round ligament pains are, are kicking my butt. Like I, my plan was to work out 30 minutes every day, you know, like really <laughs> try to have a, a quick bounce back, but my body's just not really with that. And that's something I have to understand, I have to listen to, and I just do what I can. I do what I can, and then when it's time to stop, I'll go eat some food that I enjoy. <laughs> and I drink my water. <laughs> So make sure that you are drinking your water and eating your fruit and you know doing all the things that you need to do to make sure that your baby's healthy, that you're healthy, and that you don't put on too much weight while you are pregnant so you don't have like preeclampsia stuff later. Alright, so guys, I don't want to take up all your time. I just kind of wanted to answer some of the questions that my pregnancy generally has been very easy. I'm very blessed and very fortunate. Thank you, baby, for that giving me a hard time because I know it's not always this easy for moms out there. So for the moms who are having a more difficult time, you know, just take it easy. Just take it easy. Take it day by day. Do your research on Google. Call your doctor. See what it, what it is. Reach out to other moms who maybe have had a more similar experience to you. But even if you are experiencing all these different things, if you're put on bed rest or you constantly are throwing up, you can't keep anything down, you hate the smell of food, I implore you to still write down your goals, to still get a planner and be organized and take the action when you can to continue to push yourself forward because pregnancy is not a disruption. It is not a negative thing. It is just a blessing that we get to be some kind of vessel from God to create a human being and that we're going to get through this. We're going to be all right. We're still going to be pregnant and popping. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Make sure that you leave your comments. Tell me how is your pregnancy going? What are you experiencing? 
What have you done to ease round ligament pain? I want to know. Tell me in the comments. Subscribe. Share this video with your pregnant friends. And let's all be pregnant and popping together. Thank you for watching.